Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name's Dan, and I'm building a straight-tailed A model Sonics with the Jabiru 3300 engine. I mentioned the A model because I've actually had quite a few people uh, comment recently and ask if it's the A model or the B model. Now, if you're interested in the B model, I would highly suggest checking out a channel called Gavin's Sonics B. Gavin's a gentleman in France. He's actually English, but lives in France, and he's building a Sonics B model. He has a phenomenal channel. He does a really nice job uh, showing you what it's like building a Sonics B model. So please uh, go check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description. So today we're starting off in my office. Um, this video is going to be a little bit out of order compared to my other videos because we had our Austin, Texas snowpocalypse a couple weeks ago. And I have two more videos in the queue that are going to be uploaded, but um, I wanted to show you this one first to talk about the ice storm and also to do a little unboxing of my new Dynon uh, avionics uh, servo mount hold, uh, panel holder. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the new servo parts. First off, this is my office with my Ninja Turtle trash can and my setup for my desk here. Here is my spot. I keep all my camera equipment when I'm not using it and I'll be able to charge it. And then right here, I will be building a Formula One Ferrari F1 simulator with a chair. And here's the uh, steering wheel I got for a little while ago. That's pretty cool. But right here is my box from Dynon. On top of it is a box from Jetcat Turbines. That's a different video for a different time, but I think you're gonna like this one too. But let's go ahead and open up this Dynon box and see my autopilot parts, and I'm very excited to see them. Also, apologies for the lisping. I just got Invisalign braces, and these are gonna be taking a while to get used to. But let's go ahead and open up the Dynon box. This is just two uh, servo mounting trays for my autopilot for the um, X and Y axis. There's no Z axis in this airplane. Well, the rudder is the Z axis, but I'm not going to be having an autopilot for that. It's also called a yaw dampener as well, too. Pitch servo installation guide. packaging, and yeah, just showing me what this is, and then maybe one more box. Okay, installation guide and then all the little all the little A and N bolts and all the little push bearings as well too. Really nice aluminum mounting bracket. That's really high quality. Another aluminum mounting bracket for another one of them. And this is the uh, push-pull tube. My guess this is for the um, aileron because it's a, a wider throw to it. But uh, I will find out and read these things. So here they all are, the parts and um, installation kits. I'll go ahead and start, uh, once I get the bottom of the airplane on, uh, mounting this to it and then see how it all works. But nice simple kit, really nice high quality hardware, all a and high quality aviation grade. So. Now the next thing to do is to continue uh, putting in the airplane and mounting it. So thanks so much for watching. That's going to be it for this video. Just want to do a quick update on what was going on. Uh, and again, there's going to be a little bit of a, a backwards because the, the two videos coming up next I shot beforehand. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this one uploaded so we can keep moving forward. But thanks so much for watching.